to grow grain? Okay, so uh, the farmers used to grow potatoes uh, on Washington Island for Orida. Uh, before all the uh, the potatoes and, and the jobs went west, and so it had the land laid fallow uh, since the 70s, uh, whereby uh, a couple farmers, Tom and Kenny Coyne, approached uh, Brian Ellison, who's the founder and president of Death Store Spirits, uh, to bring farming back to the island. So they determined hard red winter wheat was the best viable crop uh, based on the microclimate and the uh, the land. And so they planted uh, five acres of organic wheat. Uh, they all turned around and looked at Brian and said, so what are you gonna do with all this wheat? So rather than make uh, you know dog biscuits or overpriced flour, because uh, really no one at the end of the work week says, you know what, honey, great work week, let's get the good flour out, right? No one says that, they want beer and spirits. So value added products is where it was at. Uh, introduced the wheat to Kirby Nelson, who used to be at Capital Brewery. Uh, they created an island wheat ale with that beer, uh, became their best selling product. Uh, Brian then set about trying to look for someone to distill that wheat uh, into vodka uh, in the Midwest. Uh, he couldn't find anyone to do it, so he did it himself. He learned how to do it himself. Hung around distilleries all over the Midwest, uh, distilled at Cedar Rapids. Uh, used to work with uh, uh, Nick Quint at Yahara Bay Distillers. And now we just opened the state's largest craft distillery, uh, state being Wisconsin's largest uh, craft distillery in June of 2012, uh, where we have 25,000 square feet, capacity for about a quarter of a million cases, and uh, growing bigger and better. Well, thank you so much for being here today. Awesome. I really appreciate it.